let me tell you something about happiness. Happiness is great unless you're writing a story. Couple meet and fall in love. Well, good for them, but it's not a story. But couple meet and fall in love and their families hate each other. That's a story. Or couple meet and fall in love, but she's already married. That's a story. Or couple meet and fall in love, but they're both men living in a homophobic society. That's a story. So here we arrive at a first fundamental of storytelling. There must be conflict. Necessarily, in order for a story to exist, there must be some conflict. And by conflict, I don't mean that uh, people have to be shouting at each other or throwing punches or anything like that. Rather, conflict arises automatically when your characters have objectives and face impediments. Kurt Vonnegut said, When I used to teach creative writing, I would tell the students to make their characters want something right away, even if it's only a glass of water. Characters paralysed by the meaninglessness of modern life still have to drink water from time to time. And the basis of almost every story ever told is that somebody wants something and she or he faces impediments to achieving that ambition. Now, those impediments could be in the form of an adversary, such as Professor Moriarty, with whom Sherlock Holmes must fight his final deadly battle. Well, it could be to do with environmental circumstances, the freezing Yukon wilderness in Jack London's story, To Light a Fire. Or they could be something internal to the character, such as Bridget Jones's insecurities and general goofiness. And there's two ways you need to think about this. First of all, it's important that you know what your character's main objective is. What does she ultimately want from this story or novel? Is it to catch the criminal, to survive the wilderness, to marry Mr. Wright? But then you also need to think about each scene and episode within that novel. What do they want at any particular moment? And what impediments do they face that might prevent them achieving that objective? So I'll construct a wee example. Let us suppose that uh, you're writing a romantic comedy and uh, the Protagonist has been on various failed dates and hilarity has ensued and now she's being sent on a work trip to Cyprus uh, with a colleague, a colleague whom we already suspect may be the one she's supposed to be with. Now you want to describe this new setting to capture that romantic atmosphere, to set the scene. And so you permit your character to go for a walk and she wanders among large fruit trees, listening to the hum of cicadas as the sun sets and the shadows go long and the smell of azaleas mixes with the warm sea salt breeze. And then she emerges onto the beach and takes off her shoes and feels the warm sand between her toes and that's all very nice, but it's not a story. What you could do to turn it into a story is to give her an objective. Rather than have her just passively appreciating the beauty, have her walking somewhere. For instance, she has to walk to the restaurant where she is meeting Ms Wright or Mr Wright or whoever. The impediment to her achieving that objective? Well, perhaps she doesn't know the way. She gets a bit lost. Now, as she walks, you can still describe the beauty of the island. She can still appreciate that beauty at first. But now the descriptions have an added meaning. The setting sun is now also a warning about the passing of time. And when she finally emerges onto the beach and the waterfront restaurant is only a hundred metres away, she realises that she can't walk on the sand in her high heels and she has to take them off and pause and carry them and run. And when she finally arrives, well, you resolve the scene. Maybe she gets there just in time. Maybe she's too late and her date has eloped with the waiter. 
Below this video you'll find links to a couple of grids I like to use to get writers focusing on objectives, on conflict, on impediments. All you have to do is to fill in the boxes for any story you've recently experienced, be it a book, a film or a play. Uh, as you'll see, I've, I've, I've filled in the first couple to get you to get you started. Thanks a lot for watching and good luck here, Ryan.